Hey, Pisces, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing well. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana, and we are going to throw down some deep thoughts about your life using the tarot cards. Um, I have been traveling since June 1st all over the country doing cool things with cool people and tarot card readings in cool places, but I'm settled down now for the winter. Settled for the winter. This is the new setup for at least through the spring, okay? Not through the spring, but till the spring, okay? So I'm settled down and this is where I will be um, through the winter. This is a collective reading for the sign of Pisces. I am Taurus Sun, but I'm Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus. And I got some Scorpio, a lot of Scorpio in my chart. So anyway, um, this is a collective reading for Pisces. Because I am Taurus and Pisces, the Pisces reading might, if, if this reading resonates with you, the Taurus reading will probably resonate with you too, and vice versa. Taurus can watch Pisces and Pisces can watch Taurus. And that's not just some stupid marketing thing. I mean, it's for real. I don't know why, but from what comes out from the inside of me, um, the two of them are interchangeable, okay? So if this resonates, check it out. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate for you. If you don't have Pisces in your chart, this reading may still resonate for you because it's life circumstances, and this reading may not resonate at all for you. It's a roll of the dice, right? Never know. So this is a collective reading for the sign of Pisces. What does that mean? That means that out of 80,000 people, um, it's, it's, it's like an auditorium, okay? Like an auditorium. 80,000 people on the channel, right? Fills a small auditorium. Little old me sitting in the middle of that auditorium fixing to give whatever message comes out of these cards. That's how personal this is, okay? If you need confirmation, understanding, wisdom, guidance, clarification of anything that comes out in this reading, by all means, have your cards read. Don't spend six months or a year watching random YouTube videos trying to figure out what your story is. Just get your cards read, right? Just get your cards read. I know people who spent a hundred bucks on a Friday at the bar. So priorities, right? If you want to get, if you want to know what your real story is, get your damn cards read. Okay. All right. Pisces reading for the collective of Pisces. Hold on. I have something in my eye. All right, let's do it. Spirit, I'm going to pray. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out 15 cards at least. We'll talk about it as I clarify it. We'll sew together a story. Um, if there needs to be a timestamp to where the actual reading starts, um, I'll put that right up here somewhere. Okay? All right. Um, I'm going to record in just a second the cards. So, Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, and Pisces wants to know what you know. Pisces, what do you, <laughs> Spirit, Spirit, what do you know about Pisces and what does Pisces need to know? What's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces needs to look, need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming circumstances for their best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that Pisces is going to say. What it is these cards are going to say for Pisces. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Pisces the messages that they need to have. And please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what these cards are going to say for Pisces. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle just a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll begin to pull off the top. If you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to Pisces that they need to know. All right. Let's turn this on. Video. Record. All right. I'm going to put this right up here. Um, I believe I had a card hit the ground. Hi, Poppy. What you doing down there, Bubby? You got your bone? All right. I'm going to randomly put that one in there. Let's cut three times and see what we get. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
King of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck. All right. First card out. The Three of Wands. Some foresight, some understanding, some direction. The Knight of Pentacles. Slow, the future. The Five of Wands, conflict, competition. The King of Wands to the Four of Wands, structure, foundation, stability. Wow, all of this is fire energy except for that Knight of Pentacles right there. Interesting. The Hermit in reverse, disconnected, isolated, lonely, withdrawn. Page of Cups in reverse and inability to create. The Nine of Pentacles in the center of the reading, self-sufficiency, independence, culmination. Ace of Swords, some truth. The Nine of Cups in reverse, talking about emotional dissatisfaction, justice, truth, honesty, Ace of Cups, feelings, new love, the Knight of Wands coming in hot, temperance, healing, the Page of Pentacles manifesting, the Seven of Swords in reverse, this is um, breaking free of mental challenges associated with betrayal and deception. Six of Swords, um, trans, trans, uh, <laughs> um, transitioning um, from choppy waters into calmer waters. The King of Cups to the Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises to the Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. The Two of Cups, a relationship, the Hangman in reverse, resistance, stalling, delays to the Three of Swords in Reverse, Acceptance, Understanding, Strength to the Devil in Reverse. Let's see, we've got the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups in Reverse, the Queen of Cups in Reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, the Hierophant in Reverse, the Four of Cups to the Four of Pentacles in Reverse, the Lovers, the Nine of Wands in Reverse, the Ten of Cups, the World in Reverse. Okay, so the rest of these cards are basically giving us background information, which the clarifying cards are going to give us too. Guess what, Pisces? I quit smoking. I did. If you're new to the channel, I have, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a smoker. I've smoked for 10 years, right? Smoke, smoke, smoke. And um, I was going to get hypnotized back before COVID came around. And then COVID came around. And of course, you know, life just stopped. And um, so I woke up the other day and I am now eight days free from smoking cigarettes. I am smoking this vape. It's uh, not ideal, right? There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about smoking a real cigarette. To tell you the truth, it's, 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 it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be because I feel really good. I mean, I feel so clean, right? And unless you smoke, you don't understand what I'm talking about. But I feel so clean, right? My car doesn't smell like cigarettes. My clothes don't smell like cigarettes. Um, there's not an ashtray on my patio. It's just I feel clean on the inside and on the outside. This is not ideal. There's a learning curve to it. It has almost killed me a couple times. <laughs> but... But it's working um, for the hand-to-mouth smoking thing, okay? So I did it. I did it. Um, I You can do it too. The only thing it takes is waking up and and making the decision that you no longer want to be a smoker. And that's what I did. And that's the only thing that's going to make you quit. So there you go. All right, guys, let's let's clarify, okay? All right, I'm going to use this. So the three of wands, foresight, foresight for the future. Yeah, you can see those well. Foresight for the future, um, waiting, planning, the knight of pentacles, long time, long time. All right, so spirit, tell me, what is Pisces waiting for with this three of wands right here? What is Pisces waiting on? The ten of swords. Okay, tell me more. I'm a little confused. Endings, betrayal, deception. Ah. To the Eight of Wands. Okay, been waiting on some kind of some kind of 
communication, some kind of change. Interesting. It'll work itself out. Let's see. To the Knight of Pentacles. Long time, slow. Death in reverse. Resistance to change. Personal transformation. Mm, personal transformation. All right. All right, all right, all right. So a personal transformation to the three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, five of wands, talking about com conflict, competition, to the king of wands. Hmm. So the three of wands, waiting, having some foresight, change, communication, endings, Anxiety with the Nine of Swords, an inability to manifest, and the Ten of Wands, talking about burden. The King of Wands, is this struggle or is this a person to the Queen of Pentacles? Okay. King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Wands, structure, foundation, stability. What is this about? Structure, foundation, stability, harmonious relationship to the hermit in reverse. Uh, withdrawn, isolated, the page of cups in reverse, creative block, blocked, possibly. The nine of pentacles in the center of the reading. So tell me what the hermit is right here. Tell me what the hermit is. The five of pentacles. Okay. Left out in the cold. Leaving it out in the cold. Oh, leaving you withdrawing, energetically withdrawing. Okay, 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 okay. The Page of Cups, um, a blockage of creation, can't create. The Devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The Prince of Cups in reverse, talking about unrealistic. To judgment in reverse, this is bad decisions. Okay, I see. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Bad decisions. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. 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 The culmination in the center of the reading. Gotcha. Four of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Self protection. Right on. To the Ace of Swords. Truth. Truth to the wheel of fortune rolling forward gotcha the nine of cups in reverse emotional dissatisfaction to justice justice the star the six of wands actually the star and the six of wands i do believe go right there and then we come down drop down here to justice to the Four of Cups in reverse, this is um, apathy. To the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Wands, so apathy, justice, justice to the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Tell me, Seven of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, yeah, okay. To the Knight of Wands, tell me about this, tell me about this. The Queen of Wands and the Empress. Ah, ay, they. Okay. Ay, they. All right. That's Jewish for what the fuck, by the way. <laughs> ay, they. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, crack myself up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, Knight of Wands, Temperance, Page of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, Temperance, Page of Pentacles. This just threw me for a loop, Pisces. Hold on a second. Let me figure this out. Opposition, Justice. Let's see, Four of Cups in reverse, okay? This is Apathy. Seven of Swords in reverse. Mental Challenges. The Chariot in reverse. Breaks. The Queen of Wands to the Empress. The Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands to the Empress. Two of Pentacles in reverse. 
to the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Wands and Temperance. What is this Knight of Wands about? What is this Knight of Wands about? What is this Knight of Wands about? What is this about? What is this Knight of Wands about? Seven of Pentacles. All right. Temperance. Is this healing? Is this patience? Is this purpose? The sun. The ten of cups. The sun and the ten of cups. Prince of Pentacles manifesting. Okay. Okay. Breaking free. Tell me about the seven of swords and the six. Sorry, Poppy. <laughs> I looked down there the other day. I was doing a, um, a reading, a personal reading, right? And uh, he always lays by my feet, right? While I'm doing a reading for the most part. Um, and um, I looked down there and, you know, I'm, cards are flying and I'm just talking and cards are flying and I'm zoning out, totally doing this channel, right? And I looked down and there's like eight cards just all over my dog's body. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny all right the moon we're not going to take that though because i've lost my train of thought okay so tell me about the seven of swords to the six of swords seven of swords in reverse to the six of swords the king of wands in reverse okay so the king of wands in reverse Regretful, okay, to the King of Cups. Okay, all right, all right, okay. I see where this is going. All talk, no action of the Page of Swords changing to the, okay, I see exactly where this is going. Okay, the Devil in Reverse. Tell me about that. Tell me about the Devil in Reverse. Eight of Cups. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Four of Wands in reverse. And one more, please. To the Emperor, of course. All right. All right, Pisces. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to timestamp this roughly 20 minutes. Okay. So, 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 this is what's happening. Okay. Three of Wands, right? You've been waiting. You've been waiting to the Ten of Swords. You've been waiting for something to end to the Eight of Wands. You've been waiting for something to end that is going to open the door to some kind of change or communication. But for some reason, whatever you're waiting to, for to end um, is a blockage, okay? You can't go past this, right? So you're waiting for it to end, patiently waiting, patiently waiting for it to end so there can be movement, action, and change. The Knight of Pentacles comes in and talks about um, again, more waiting, right? Slow energy, been waiting on it for a good minute. Death in reverse talks about um, um, a personal transformation to the Three of Pentacles, where there can be teamwork and collaboration, okay? Um, so you're waiting, you're waiting patiently. It's been a good long minute. You're waiting patiently for there, for something to get out of your way so you can have some kind of teamwork and collaboration in a particular situation. The Five of Wands. Competition. I do believe you're waiting for competition to clear the way, um, for competition to get out of the way. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't compete. I will not compete for anybody's attention. Um, um, anybody, and particularly a man, I will not compete for a man's attention. Either your attention is focused, laser focused on me, um, or 
it's just not happening. There's no way in hell I'd tolerate um, any man that's interested in me talking to different women um, or or engaging in behavior that is um, um, polyamorous, okay? So the five of wands, right? There's some kind of competition that creates conflict for you. And Pisces has just taken a step back and they're like, no, not going to do it. When this changes, let me know. When this changes, let me know because I'm not interested in competing for anything. The nine of swords, anxiety and despair. The princess of pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest. To the ten of wands, burden and struggle, right? Now, you're taking the strong road and you're saying, when this is over, let me know because I'm not going to engage in any kind of competition for your attention in any way whatsoever. Does not have to be a love situation. This could be about career. This could be about anything, anything at all. You know, I used to work um, a long time ago, a long time ago, I, in a, um, um, uh, when I was first getting started in real estate in a boiler room. <laughs> um, it was um, um, a, a situation where it was a huge company, a huge website, national um, reach, right? And people, they would track people who clicked on things, right? And the next day, we're supposed to go back and call these people. Well, it went from being a really awesome job, actually, and, and client um, procurement, right? And then they got a new boss in and they changed everything and they changed it into this um, boiler room call center competition kind of thing, right? And they were always like ringing these bells. It went from being like a totally chill to like this insane environment, ringing these bells. And this new guy was all like, let's go. Who can make the most phone calls and all that kind of stuff, right? Which was the beginning of the end for me because I don't work like that. So anyway, um, the competition, right? Um, I was like, you know what? I'm not competing. I'm going to continue to do my thing and I'm going to continue to do it well. And I am not engaging in this competition in any way whatsoever. Could be work for you here, okay? It does not have to be a romantic relationship, but whatever it is, you're waiting for something to clear out of the way so you can focus your attention and so you can be focused on, okay? King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. King of Wands could very well be talking about your career. It could be talking about success and achievement. The Queen of Pentacles could be talking about your sense of security, your sense of achievement, your, um, your environment. The Four of Wands waiting on structure and stability. Um, the King of Wands could also be the object of, of, of your, your, um, attention right here, right? This king of wands who is a player kind of guy. I mean, he's the king of fire, right? Um, you know, the, the king of pentacles, he's going to rule his kingdom from the desk. The king of wands is the wanderer. He's, he's the one that's going to hop on horseback and lead his troops into battle, going from city to city, right? He's fire energy. He doesn't like to sit still. He's a dancer, right? So the king of wands is, um, could be the object of this, the situation. The queen of pentacles could be you waiting to assume your position as the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands as the Queen of Pentacles, as in holding title in somebody's life. And the Four of Wands could be talking about waiting on um, structure and stability, right? Because you're not engaging until something else ends over here. What are you doing, Darth Vader? The, <laughs> that's my dog Snickers, the Six of Swords in reverse, this is um, lots of water under the bridge to the Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate new beginnings to the Two of Cups in reverse, an imbalance in some kind of one-on-one -on -one relationship. So that whole top row there sums up as you're waiting on something to clear out so the situation can change. Um, 
What you're waiting on depends on you because this is a general reading, right? 80,000 people, who the hell knows what I'm talking about right here. Um, if you do need to know, get your damn cards read, right? Get your cards read so you can figure this out. Nevertheless, general, ambiguous kind of reading. You're waiting on something to change um, because there's an imbalance right now. You're waiting. Um, you're just waiting. Okay. The Hermit in Reverse. You are withdrawn. You're isolated. You're disconnected from this situation. Absolutely are. <laughs> the five of pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Kids, <coughs> don't ever smoke. The five of pentacles in the upright. I'm sorry. So the hermit in reverse, isolated, withdrawn, disconnected. Five of pentacles. You have left this situation out in the cold. Not You are not even focused on it. You're just going about your business, waiting for whatever needs to take place to take place, if it ever takes place. But one thing you know for sure is that you are not going to compete for anything. Page of Cups in reverse. This is um, creative block to the devil and the Prince of Cups in reverse. So creative block, the devil, um, unrealistic and judgment in reverse. This is um, bad decisions, right? Um, either deciding to not decide or bad decisions. So what these cards are saying right here is you are isolated from the situation. You have withdrawn yourself. Five of Pentacles, you've left it out in the cold. The Page of Cups in reverse, or you feel left out in the cold. Page of Cups in reverse, creative block. The devil represents whatever is being engaged in up here that causes competition, anxiety, and inability to manifest and a burden for you. Okay, So this devil represents the person, possibly this king of wands, that is causing this problem for you. Prince of Cups in reverse. Until this situation is resolved, it is completely unrealistic to engage emotionally completely unrealistic. Judgment in reverse. It would be a bad decision to engage emotionally in this situation until it's cleared up. And you're just going about your business, patiently waiting for things to um, happen for you. Ten of swords, right? You're waiting for something to end. Nine of Pentacles, in the center of your reading. This is self-sufficiency and independence in the center of your reading. This is Pisces just going about their business, not, not lamenting, not, not holding on to, just maybe watching from a distance, but nevertheless, just going about your business, right? Bringing your involvement in this situation to an end, not, not, just not, right? Four of Pentacles in reverse, out of self-protection. Because again, you don't compete for anybody's attention. Not going to happen. Either you want me or you don't. And if you want me, I'm going to be the only person that you want. And I am not engaging in any kind of fuckery. Ace of Swords, truth. This is your truth. This is your absolute truth right here. I am not engaging in this situation. Nine of Cups in reverse. It's emotionally dissatisfying. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Well, guess what happens, Pisces? Guess what happens? Well, justice comes in. Justice is what happens, okay? What is justice? Well, I'm going to read this two different ways, okay? So the Nine of Cups to the Ace of Swords. The truth is this brings me emotional dissatisfaction and I'm not going to subject myself to that. I'm moving on. I'm carrying on self-protection, not going to engage. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm headed towards a turning point in my life. Um, the star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal for my future. The six of wands. I have victory over this situation because I'm leaving it behind and I am not engaging in the fuckery. Okay. Now I'm going to take this little group of cards right here and I'm going to bring it down here to justice. So justice is what's up next. Now what's up with justice? Well, justice is about, can you see that? Yeah. Justice is about, um, Honesty, truth, fairness, right? Accountability coming into you. Um, <laughs> to the Ace of Cups, 
um, new beginnings in love on the table to the knight of wands because somebody fire energy perhaps is coming in to bring justice to the situation what is the justice that they're bringing to the situation well they want a turning point with the wheel of fortune um, the star there is hope and faith and purpose and renewal of this relationship six of wands victory progress success the ace of cups new love on the table the knight of wands coming into you four of cups in reverse this message fiery message knight of wands classic player right um, has you in the four of cups in reverse this is apathy right because you're not believing it you're, you're really not you're just not believing it because you've been here before okay you've been here before um, there is an extended reading to the Taurus reading. Remember I said in the beginning of this, Taurus might resonate with Pisces and Pisces might resonate with Taurus if any of this resonates with you. There's an extended reading for Taurus that is just so spot on for this right here, okay? I'm actually gonna put a link in the description box. Um, it's it's worth watching it truly is it's like an hour long it's really deep but it's so about this as well okay so you're apathetic about this new this new uh beginning in love right because you you just it's coming from the knight of wands and you're like yeah whatever because you've had go rounds with this person before right seven of swords in reverse you're still attached in your mind to deception and betrayal you don't trust this person the chariot breaks not moving forward why queen of wands to the empress because i am not going to compete for anybody's attention i am the empress and the queen of wands these little stupid people that you have running around in your life male female whatever um the, no i know my self-worth i know i know my self-worth and i am not going to share anything with anybody else Two pentacles in reverse, disorganization. This is a deal breaker. You do not engage with me until you are ready to be in a mature adult relationship, one-on-one, -on -one, you and I, me and you, or it's a no-go. I'm sorry, it is a no-go. Ten of pentacles, um, future, potential, foundation, Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles right here. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> That's funny. The moon in reverse, right? So the Ten of Pentacles. The moon in reverse. This is uh, dealing with repressed emotions. This is you being strong and saying, like, for real, no go. No go. No go. You throw away the black book, maybe we'll talk. You don't throw away the black book, it's a no go. Just a no go. Two of Wands in reverse. I ain't taking this bullshit into my future. To the Page of Wands in reverse. I have zero desire to engage. Judgment in reverse. A decision to not make a decision. I am not engaging with this. It is a bad decision. Not going to do it. Seven of Pentacles on top of the Knight of Wands, right? Reflecting and assessing on uh, the situation. Temperance. This is healing being brought to the situation, to the page of pentacles, manifestation, manifestation, to the sun, happiness, success, and vitality, to the ten of cups, harmony and happiness. Now, how does this happen? Over here, Pisces is like, not only no, but hell no. You have too many little, little people running around um, interfering. And I'm not about it. I'm just not about it, right? Not about it, not about it, not about it. Well, temperance, this is healing, okay? And it's going to explain as we go forward. So there's healing to the situation. There's manifestation to the situation. There's happiness and success and the Ten of Cups to the situation. How does this happen? Well, King of Wands in reverse. The person that you're dealing with. Self-centered, egocentric person, okay? To the seven of swords in reverse this is breaking free 
from betrayal and deception to the Six of Swords, transitioning out of one way of being into a new way of being, which is the King of Cups. So what this is saying is that the messages that this person is bringing you, the communication of the Knight of Wands is saying, I have been a narcissist. I have been in the past a player. I have in the past been not worthy of you, Pisces. But I am breaking free from betrayal and deception. I am transitioning into the King of Cups. My messages for you are sincere. My feelings are for you are sincere. Page of Swords in Reverse. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises from the past. Eight of Wands. That's changing. Swift change. This is the communication that is telling you that this person is changing their ways to the Two of Cups and they want a solidified relationship with you. The hangman, the resistance, the delays, the indecision, the stalling, whatever happened up here to make you wait for something to end in order for something to begin is explained. And there is acceptance, understanding, and forgiveness with the Three of Swords in reverse. The relationship is strengthened with the Strength card. Devil in Reverse talks about releasing limiting beliefs, detaching from being the King of Wands in Reverse, having a, a personal transformation, Eight of Cups in Reverse, um, the hopelessness that was this person's behavior in the past is now transitioning with the Four of Wands in Reverse into the Emperor. This person is growing. This person is maturing. This person is realizing that um, you are who it is that they want to engage with and they're maturing and leveling up and understanding how it is that they need to behave in order to have the Pisces in their life. Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, right? Giving, receiving. See, this Six of Pentacles right here talks to me about being unequally yoked, okay? To the Page of Pentacles, manifesting. Why are you unequally yoked? Well, because before this guy, this person is the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, the King of Wands in reverse, right? But now they're morphing into the King of Cups and the Emperor, which is a massive maturity um, growth, right? Growth and maturity. Um, and they want to manifest with the Page of Pentacles, growing, changing, Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning in love with you. The options, the choices, the decisions in the past to the Queen of Swords in reverse um, that caused you to emotionally withdraw to the Seven of Wands was a challenge for this person. The devil, right? Bad behavior. Um, they now see the error of their ways and they're saying that they're going to change. Look, the page of swords on the floor, on the floor down there. They are, um, adhering to a completely different thought pattern. The page of cups, they want to create. They're growing, um, emotionally to the Ten of Pentacles and create structure, foundation, stability because they see potential in this relationship. Six of Wands, right? They want victory, progress, and success. The King of Swords, this is the truth. This is the truth. Wow, Pisces. Wow. So that is um, your reading. I am going to put the Taurus extended reading to this, okay? I don't want comments from people who are not listening that the Taurus reading is for Taurus and not for Pisces, okay? I am putting the Taurus extended reading as the extended reading for this reading because it is right fucking on point. It is so on point. I don't care if I say Taurus through the whole damn reading. It is on point for this, okay? If you have any kind of, of questions, you need understanding, clarification, by all means, get your cards read. Please do not walk around in a state of, of 
emotional distress, just find out what your story is and carry on with your bad self, okay? All right, again, Taurus extended is going to be used as the Pisces extended because it is point on. I am Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus. Pisces and Taurus readings are interchangeable for one another. If this resonates for you, the Taurus reading is probably going to resonate. And if the Taurus reading resonates for Taurus, Pisces is going to resonate for Pisces. And I am putting the, the Taurus extended reading link to this one because it is spot fucking on. Namaste.